Most of the options in Dallas are you pay $50 to have your kid audition. If your kid is accepted to be in the show, they pay anywhere from $350 to $700 to be in that production. It would have been outside the realm of possibility for me when I was a teenager, and I felt like there should be something else. And there should be something that gives young people a space to explore things that are important to them. I was attracted to work with Cry Havoc Theater because Mara wanted to do something that was more challenging and complex. Usually a script is given to them and they're just basically interpreting characters or interpreting lines. They're not asked to be actual creators, but we're asking them to do that. Cry Havoc empowers young people uh, to have a voice and to share their voice and because of that, the shows that Cry Havoc does are, are unique. They are singular uh, productions. I, I don't think that you could, you know, even a, one of these device pieces, if you were to like get the script and hand it off to another company, it would be a different show. Here, it's a safe space where we'll hear each other's opinions and not be judged for it, and we're able to work it out through our art. And so I think that it's really important to do this. To grow with the theater over the years, it actually, got me out of a shell, out of a certain shell that I used to just want, wanted to stay in. It's important for these shows to be financially uh, free for every participant because all these students from across our city get to actually interact with each other and get to share experiences that they wouldn't actually get in their own institutions. And the only way that that happens is if that everyone gets to participate based on the merit of their performance and not what's in their pocketbook. You know, this last show, we had wealthy, regular theater goers sitting next to folks who, um, that was the first show they'd ever come to see. I would like to see more theaters find ways to bring such a diverse audience together. It shouldn't just be our shows that these folks are sitting side by side. Um, but if, if our shows are the catalyst for that to happen, then I think that's awesome. We need to have hope that we can say something about the world through the medium of theater, have other people listen to it, and have a conversation about it, and then go forth with our lives having that new idea or that new inspiration. And it's important that it comes from teenagers.